Hmm. Skyblock. Sometimes it's interesting only for those who like Skyblock. And I do like it. <laughs> I do like it a lot. Uh, it's been a couple minutes. I've been here uh, mining some cobblestone in order to make my mob grinder. Yeah, which I'm going to make that way. Yeah, or that way. Not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. But I want I want it to be quite far from the villagers there, uh, which I have to get close approach. Yeah. I have to to get to those villagers and then start doing some cool trades but uh, the things that they require to buy to the, the things that they're going to buy and sell to me will only be possible with the mob grinder so this is the first thing i have to do and i have changed the sapling i had here i removed it and then i planted those over there like I'm making a tree farm over there because I decide I I have decided I'm going to make the mob grinder half on stone, yeah, which like the 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 base the how do I call that the central part, yeah, the central cone, let's say the, the tube where the the mobs are going to drop. I it's going to be on stone on cobblestone, and maybe later who knows I can make one with stone bricks and inside there is going to be wood because i don't know for those of you who don't know um skyblock if you have seen the mob grinder and i have to say it's not a pleasant view at all yeah it's like it's one of the most horrendous structures you can build in Minecraft because it's really basic. It's like a giant mushroom made of cobblestone where the mobs are going to spawn. It's an area that has uh, four um, four segments of uh, eight by eight. Oh, a tree. Hello. <laughs> it's like it has four segments, eight by eight in a square. So it's a huge square with a tube in the center where the mobs are going to drop and die or not not necessarily dry i'm going to make it as uh, tall enough so they don't die and i can also get some xp from them so they will get like very weak and then i can kill them easily it's uh it's a very easy thing to do but for those who are afraid of heights like me bloop, <laughs> it is something yeah and it's like really really challenging because i have to be like sneaking like that all the time and walking like i have to be very very careful especially because when making the mob grinder i'm gonna be up there with uh all the cobblestone i have and probably some other uh loot some maybe the the, the water bucket because i'm going to need water up there and also torches and everything like everything i'm grinding here i'm mining here all the resources i'm gathering here they will be up there with me and if i die you know what happens yeah i have to come down here again and do everything i want to keep this stone pickaxe in here that's why i'm going to make a new one out of there yeah and that tree i can i believe i can chop that tree down also, I so I have made this platform, which by the way, it's all bottom bottom slabs. That means that um, if uh, it's like it's not a place for mobs to spawn. Yeah, when it's bottom slabs, the mobs will not spawn in here. I only forgot I should make like some ladders on this sides of the trees. I have also to light it up. I don't want mobs to spawn on the top of the tree blocks yeah where the saplings are i also have to collect some more saplings let them fall let them fall for now yeah so for safety they have like a a safe uh, distance between yeah i need i need to make stairs i need to make stairs mm -hmm. i need to make stairs so let's get some more i don't know like this it's okay yeah i do need to make some stairs in there is it gonna be enough? Yeah, I made all of it. <coughs> Dang, I just needed four, but anyway, that's okay. Um, 
put the sticks back here. Mm -hmm. Not stairs. Did I say stairs? I did it again. I called stairs. It's my, in Portuguese, my mother language, stair and ladder, they, they, they are the same word. That's why sometimes instead of speaking stairs, I speak ladders. Instead of speaking ladders, I speak stairs. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah, no native speaking English. But anyway, I, um, I'm going to get more wood. I need wood, baby. I need wood because I'm going to make the grinder, the mob grinder beautiful. Well, I try, I will try to make it more beautiful than just like a giant mushroom of cobblestone. Please don't fall to the void. Yeah. Is this okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's all the wood in the tree. Good. Collect these. Collect these. Get the sapling. Plant it back. Let's get these. Okay, I need to wait for a bit more saplings to to go here. So guys, yeah, Skyblock, for those who don't know, it's all about this. It's about uh, caring for each block that you have. I already have enough charcoal for that. Yeah, so I'm going to make the planks. Yes, and put them here. Good. I have enough char charcoal in there. I think I can even get la half of this charcoal to make more torches because I may need torches up there decisions 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 yeah yeah I'm gonna need some torches up there for when I when I build the thing 28 is enough it's cool let me sleep a little bit more I can only sleep at night it's night already let me sleep let me sleep even though now it's not uh, the third night so phantoms are not gonna eat my face because I have slept. Yeah, lots of saplings, lots of saplings. And when I have, when I have a composter, I can have, I can turn these saplings into bone meal, which is cool. Yeah, bone meal for stuff. I need to plant one tree over there. I forgot it. And also, okay, let me share with you a little bit of my plans for this i told you already i believe that i'm going to make small islands yeah so this uh, this island where i am right now is going to be the main island yeah and in this main island uh i will keep my base my house yeah the center house and the cobblestone generator i'm so terrified so afraid of falling there so I'm going to keep the cobble generator and my house in this main island. And then I'm going to have like small islands spread here and there. I made a kind of a sketch. Uh, this is the drawing that I made uh, of what I want to do. Yeah, I, I'm going to make like small floating islands interconnected with bridges. And this is how we're going to, you know, I, I'm going to have in one island, I will have the animal farms. In the, other, in the other island, I will have the tree farms. I may have like different islands for different species of trees. Yes, since I'm going to get over there, I'm going to get birch and spruce and also the other trees. Yeah, so I'm going to make uh, small islands for, well, not so small for a few of them. But yeah, like floating islands floating in the sky so I can have um, yeah something beautiful to to show I'm also working on the design for the grinder for the mob grinder uh, I don't know if I make something futuristic or fantasy yeah definitely realistic is not gonna be because uh, it is a mob grinder so in order to make something realistic it's like I don't know. I don't think it will fit. What What's your opinion over there? Yeah, like you can write in the comments what's your opinion. I should make the, the mob grinder a little bit more futuristic or fantasy. Yeah, like a crazy structure. Think about something. So th this is also like take a look at this. This is the model for a mob grinder. These are like many models of mob grinder. So this is basically it. Yeah, it's a central tube where the mobs are going to drop in and almost die and then I can kill them underground and collect the, the resources and on the top is this like crazy giant uh, <clears throat> 16 by 16 maybe I'm not sure no I think it's a bit more it's a bit wider than 16 by 16 um, 
yeah, so it's like it's it's a kind of a challenge because it's a practical build. It's not it's a build that has a use, yeah, and it's not a build made to be beautiful, yeah. But we can make it, yeah, we can make it. So I want your opinion. What is it you think I should do? Like fantasy like mob grinder or futuristic structure? Yeah, I would have to think about it too. For futuristic, I think I can use smooth stone because now it's possible to smelt the, you, you smelt the stone twice, and yeah, you smelt the cobblestone and the cobblestone turns into stone, and then you smelt the stone and the stone turns into uh, smooth stone. Yeah, so it's uh, I can make it. Yeah, it's like in a futuristic style. There won't be um, blocks like quartz. I think not. Unless I go to the nether, I find a way to go to the nether, maybe. Uh, there's also something that may be a surprise for me when those villagers... I told you that those villagers I, I made, they are custom villagers. The, the traits that they have, they are custom traits. And they're all apprentices. That means... I don't know, I'm not sure, but I believe that they will... Uh, level up and become uh, I don't know what are the other names like master or there is one the traveler I don't know uh, so yeah I believe that they're going to level up the, the villagers and if they level up the trades they are going to offer is going to be a really real surprise to me yeah I have no idea if they are going to level up and if they level up I have no idea which trades they will have to offer to me. Yeah, oh, the tree has grown again. That's nice. Trees grow fast in this biome. Which biome is this? The void. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't have biome. I'm homeless and biomeless. I only have a bed now. Oh my god. I gotta work on this. Making a house for me. But definitely my priority. Now that I have the bed... I can deal with the night coming, uh, but my basic priority for now is to make the mob grinder, and this is what I'm working on, yeah. So, yeah, my basic oak tree farm sapling, thank you very much. Let's plant this one here, the other saplings will come, and I get them and put them in the chest, even though I know I have now a lot of saplings already, 18, that's a decent amount for a good farm, yeah. Let's put more planks in here. Um, another one of you guys who are um, starting on Skyblock. If you are starting on Skyblock and you watch me, thank you very much for watching me. It's me, Loop. Yeah, uh, giving you hints about it. Um, I'm going to do the mob grinder with uh, full blocks and bottom slabs. Yes, yeah, slabs. Uh, at the bottom, you know, not slabs placed at the top because mobs do not spawn on bottom slabs. Yeah, mobs do not, they only spawn in full blocks and on upper slabs. Yeah, so one thing that I recently found that it's going to save me from making a lot of torches is to cover the, the mob grinder on bottom slabs. So the, the roof of the mob grinder will all be bottom slabs and yeah the design the design is like challenging so that's why i'm saving here the cobblestone and planks because i'm going to be needing a lot of these blocks a lot of these blocks yeah i have to make a tube the tube is going to be 21 blocks high so if uh, with the 21 blocks fall uh the mobs that are not dressed up in armor they will get into only one heart uh damage no they take they take like a lot of damage so they would go down to one heart making possible for me to kill them and extract the xp from them you know get the xp get the levels from them because i will be needing the levels in order to use the enchantment table which is behind those guys over there yeah <laughs> that's gonna be cool i'm so excited about it and speaking about my excitement and everything i have here some questions 
from from you guys yeah from from some comments guys from twitter from the server where i play one more blog.com by the way uh if you want to play with me just join us on one more blog.com it is amazing uh we don't have skyblock yet but uh it's something that i've been bugging mr floris <laughs> the the admin to it's like hey let's have skyblock on the server and he loves skyblock as well so i don't know if in a certain in a near future we'll be working on having skyblock on one more block yeah i hope i hope we do i hope we will yeah oh my god i'm still facing a little bit of lag in here on the video i don't know i, I don't know if, if you are going to see lag but i'm seeing lag uh okay so the question and answers i have from a few guys uh starting with earth goes boom he asked besides minecraft what's your favorite game or game series that's a hard question to answer because uh i decided to to like i play minecraft because i don't have uh, uh i don't know i don't like much of these like violent games where there's lots of competition and these i like games which are like really easy going and i started playing minecraft because of that because i didn't see myself uh let's say adapted to those other games but back in 2011 2010 i suppose i was introduced to playstation for the first time yeah i know quite a bit late i know but and on playstation my friend and i we used to play uh god of war and i liked to play the game i know it's a bit contradictory that of loop you just said you don't like violent games but you played god of war and you liked god of war yes i did but you know what i like the most about god of war is the, the the scenery the beautiful sceneries that they have in the game so like every time kratos yeah my character every time it would go inside a different area or something like this i would stop and just like whoops, look around and admire the thing i know we didn't have that much time to to do that because most of the times the minute i get into a room i was already being shot or punched by other you know for monsters and things like that but yeah this is this is why i liked to play god of war because it's uh because of the 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 graphics not the graphics but like the the scenery you know the landscaping in in the game the 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 things that they were in the game it was very nice is it scenery that we say whatever i think it is um and that's why i like like play minecraft so god of war i don't know if it's still going on but yeah it was a series that i liked very much um it was very cool uh, next question comes from Mr. Flores himself, yeah, the the owner of OneMoreBlock.com. He asks me when, uh, if you were going to do any challenges on Skyblock, which ones are you most anxious about, or which are you dreading the most? Well, I just said that I'm going to make like small islands, floating islands in here and i think this is going to be a challenge because uh most of the times i played skyblock i mean all the times that i play skyblock i do one island and i, I start expanding this island uh on the side so let's say like i have this island here and then i do more island over there but there it's like all one island yeah one big island and this project that i told you that i'm going to do is to have different small islands with different purposes uh one for the farms other for animal farms and yeah i think this is going to be one of the challenges that i'm going to have and yeah because you know i'm totally terrified of heights <sighs> okay next question comes from laura at poem 20 who asked me when did you start youtube and why did you start youtube and why do you like minecraft so i started youtube um 
a few few months ago. Yeah, I'm like not not that old. Yeah, I'm quite new. Uh, YouTube. And why did I start? It started with like a uh, uh, I want to to sh I wanted to share uh something actually i've i've always been a kind of uh show off sometimes yeah i i used to to play the guitar and sing for my friends like a bit of an artist thing in me and i started youtube not only to you know to to ease this will of being uh doing something for in for the entertainment of people and but also uh because i wanted to share my gameplay so yeah being very honest really honest with you guys i can say that i have started youtube to to see what i can do you know maybe who knows one day someone is going to sponsor me for something so then i can have a better machine and you know start uh speaking more about games and uh you know advertise games and be i don't know yeah yeah like and why i like minecraft yeah i i think i said i answered to this question uh previously i like minecraft because this game is not violent and it's really easy going and we can take our time to do what we want in the game and we can do basically like whatever we want it's uh it's so flexible i think that's the the thing that attracts me the most in minecraft is the flexibility of the game that means that if i don't want to fight if i don't want to kill if i don't want to do lots of stuff in game i don't need to yeah the game does not require that to me the game doesn't have um a final objective the game has like the objective you want it to have yeah and that's something i really like i really really like about Minecraft so in order to beat the game I don't need to kill let's say a thousand monsters or uh oh <laughs> I did something stupid but I knew I was going to fall in here so yeah I I don't have to I don't have those goals to oh my god giant trees they're good and they're bad but yeah I have to go up there again uh so yeah that's why I like Minecraft because it's it's wonderful it's amazing like the things you can do uh like speaking if if you want to make something with your friends and okay let's kill monsters you can do that if you want to do a race in minecraft you can do that if you like whatever you can do that's that's something that i really like about minecraft is that you can just do whatever you want yeah the game even has electricity circuits yeah i'm speaking about redstone and uh i like it very much and speaking of redstone and other things, I have another question from Bexy. Thank you very much, Bexy, for your question. Thank you very much. She she tweeted the question to me. She asked, who or what made you start playing Minecraft? And what would you say is your strength in the game? If it's building, if it's redstone? Well, answering to this, like, straight... It's not redstone for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I'm not a redstone uh engineer yeah i i would call those players they they're not players they're engineers you know the guys who understand redstone and how it goes it's like it, it's engineering to me it is really complicated to me i know some people say no it's not complicated it is guys it is complicated uh to me yeah so it's not my my thinking i my build my strength in minecraft i believe it's builds yeah and especially small builds i like I like to make like the the challenge of making something small and make it look nice. It's uh it's not easy. Yeah, I think I mean if you want to do like pixel art, I love those pe people who make pixel art or who make the life sized uh of everything. Yeah, I like those very much. I mean, yeah, let me keep some more in here. Should I make more planks? I make more planks yes i think I, I i'm about to have all the blocks i need for for the grinder yeah so yeah so i think my strength in game is to to build small stuff yeah um i like it very much and i i like freestyle especially when i'm inspired and many people like my freestyle builds i think this is my first apple <laughs> nice nice 
And finally, Jivized, he asked me, who inspired you to start M Minecraft, to start YouTube? Sorry, who inspired you to start YouTube? Well, I first, uh, when I was looking for tutorials on YouTube, and I have found lots of very cool guys like Ant Venom and uh, also uh, Green, who is a wonderful builder in my opinion. And also, like Green is a it's a good inspiration to me. Yeah, I believe like who has never, you know, watched the Green's video in order to see how to make beautiful stuff in Minecraft. Yeah, and also um, the guys like uh, Mumbo Jumbo, they are. I think that guy is a very good entertainer. Yeah, not only uh, as a Minecraft player, but also a good entertainer. I also see lots of people saying that he's not... Uh, oh, he's not good at Redstone. He's not good at Redstone. Uh, he's better than me. Okay, I'm not good at Redstone. He is. Yeah, he's better than me, definitely. And uh, I am a, I'm starving. I'm starving. I should get going with this grinder as soon as possible. Another apple. Cool. Ooh, I'm hungry in game and I shouldn't be I shouldn't be running um, so yeah mumbo jumbo Ollie that guy he's an entertainer because he plays he plays the guy who knows redstone but he's a goofer so I like that very much Doc M is also a fantastic player yeah and yeah so these guys I started watching also like log dot zip I also liked like his humor in it and playing lots of uh different maps and, st and stuff and everything but yeah it's like these guys inspired me to start making youtube yeah uh okay guys well i'm going to get go uh, i'm gonna get started with the mob grinder and do some other stuff but i'm going to do this on the next video yeah we had a lot of it already and yeah i'm going to do yeah, that way yeah that way to do the mob grinder is going to be cool so yeah for the next video i'm going to be showing you my mob grinder okay i'm going to be building it and uh more trees that's nice so yeah definitely this is going to be the basic design i'm going to make the mob grinder in wood uh in planks and uh cobblestone yeah and i also have to start my farm my food farm yeah i need food farm so that's why i need the mob grinder because i will need the skeleton bones to yeah to try to start something so let me get this bone here i was saving it for a good cause but i i don't see the cause is not coming yet so yeah remove this torch remove the other torch bone and let's pray that i have seeds from it because seeds are i'm going to plant them and make wheat and then make bread oh i have one seed here this is so nice i'm hungry i'm starving in game i cannot die i have stuff to make three seeds cool four seeds nice five seeds here in the back five seeds so yeah i'm gonna do the mob grinder and my wheat farm on the next episode guys thank you very much for watching me today and i hope you all have enjoyed this video i didn't do much in here but yeah for the next video be sure to watch if you haven't subscribed to me consider subscribing please and click like on this video this means a lot to me my small project of being a youtuber a content creator thank you very much for everything guys i hope you guys have a wonderful week day weekend night everything from anywhere in the world thank you very much and bye bye